Hello everyone, I'm Ryan Hayashi. Welcome to a short introductory video where I would like to talk about my samurai success strategies. Um, for those of you who are watching my Psychological Damage Magic series, you know me as the magic guy, um, or you've probably just found random uh, magic videos of me performing on YouTube. I'm currently experiencing a surge in uh, subscribers and followers thanks to season six, 2019, of the American TV show Penn and Teller Fool Us. I, my segment aired last year on season five uh, in July 2018. And because so many millions of people around the world are watching the series on YouTube, they're landing again on my video and rediscovering my, my act. So um, I, I enjoy the comments very much. So please feel free to, to write me uh, under any of my videos. I'm also on Facebook and Instagram as Ryan Hayashi. This is my YouTube channel called Ryan Hayashi, or you can find me on ryanhayashi.com, big surprise. Uh, and people have been asking about what, what is this uh, keynote speaker, motivational speaker, life coach uh, uh, stuff I do, and what is my Samurai Success Strategies concept? Um, this began recently, just last year in 2018, I was booked at uh, speakers conferences in Washington, D.C., Dallas, Texas, San Diego, California, as a speaker to introduce my Samurai Success Strategies. My next one is coming up next month. I'll be in London, England again at an upcoming conference to speak about the Samurai Success Strategies. In a nutshell, um, as most of you know, if you live in the Western world, Germany, Europe, England, uh, the UK, Canada, the United States, there's been a recent surge in the last handful of years in life coaches, motivational speakers and motivators, which is pretty awesome. Um, and I'm not going to be saying any names. I don't mean to say anything negative about others, but in some cases, these are people who have uh, done courses on speaking and then want to make a career out of motivating others and changing their lives. Um, I've just spent the last three decades doing my own thing and people have approached me asking what it is about my approach to achieving goals that's different. And this, this is where it comes from. Um, I've had people asking me uh, for about the last decade to talk about this stuff. I've always turned it down because I was too busy doing my own uh, stuff. In a nutshell, I'm at a very interesting turning point in my life. As of this video in uh, August 2019, I'm 46 years old. I began putting together uh, this, my speaking material and the entire Samurai Success Strategies package uh, just in 2018 last year. And, um, you know, after 30, 33 years of work in 2018, my dream of performing on American television as a magician finally came true. Um, my 23-year-old daughter, who's now finished her master studies, who's beginning her doctorate, uh, her PhD work this next month in September, it's just one of those turning points where I really want to start formulating my ideas. And uh, this is it. In a nutshell, my dad, born in 1934, he's uh, very Asian, very old school. Uh, his dad, born in 1887, was as well, a, you know, a very old school Asian martial arts master. And I grew up within a, a sort of a mind frame, a mentality, a, 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 an old school way of you got to earn what you want in life attitude that uh, a lot of people just have been asking me for. And since people seem interested in it, here it is. <clears throat> All right. The first thing I, I tend to talk about, this is just uh, on the surface an introduction, the fundamental aspects of being, or what I call getting yourself together. You know, you have to, you have to, have, you have, to have yourself together mentally, physically, and in, in terms of your sense of self. That's what I call it, because I, I couldn't think of a better way to call it. Um, you know, not, not to brag, but I consider myself, compared to other humans, to be um, a very together individual, because I, 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 I'm just... I'm in pretty good shape and I know who I am and what I want to contribute in this life. So getting yourself together mentally, you know, this is all basic stuff, but people seem to appreciate hearing it. Read, be knowledgeable, especially in your chosen field of expertise or your craft. Challenge yourself with tasks that require creativity, problem solving and thinking and continue to learn new things. All right. Getting yourself in shape physically. This is basic stuff, but do it. Drink water. Exercise, do physical activities that are fun for you, lower your body fat, 
Avoid sugars and processed carbohydrates. Eat nutritious foods, get enough sleep, go for walks, stretch, laugh a lot. And here's the big one where I, I get more and more the feeling an entire generation of people, you know, who are sort of younger adults now between, I don't know, 16 and, and 30, tend to be lost. Um, maybe it's because they have too many options in life, too, too, too many possibilities. Sense of self, you know, love yourself. Figure out who you are. Understand who you want to be. Take a, look, a realistic look at your, your resources, your, your dreams, your abilities, and then set achievement goals, you know. Take concrete steps to make them happen. You, th 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 this is like telling somebody who wants to get into shape, you know, get yourself in the gym and actually do, do something. Um, but it all comes down to three fundamental questions. You gotta ask yourself, what do you enjoy doing in life? What are you good at? And what can you make a living doing? You know, I can't simplify it further than that. It's basically just three questions. But if we look at modern statistics, they have uh, skyrocketing numbers of, you know, drug and alcohol abuse, suicide, depression, and, and young males with over 20% body fat. Just, there's a younger generation of adults just falling apart. So this is where I begin. Next level. I often talk to uh, my clients and, and people I care about, about basic skills. 10 steps to make yourself stand out, all right? Posture and body language. There's, there's a universe of material on here. You know, books, courses, YouTube tutorials, style, clothes do matter, voice and speaking skills, fundamental, fundamental, learn how to talk, social skills. Decisiveness, I consider that a skill. You learn how to be decisive, how to make a decision and then go with it. Listening skills, the ability to learn new things. Empathy, this is the ability to understand people on an emotional level, to connect with them emotionally. Confidence, this is having trust in yourself and your own ability, your ability to command a situation and deliver. You can have, a confident, you can have confidence in a phone call, you can have confidence uh, playing a video game against opponents on the other side of the world. Charisma, this is where people have to see and hear you, you know? Not only uh, when you walk into the room or a stage or, or just in the same space as them, but once you're looking in the camera and talking to them, people can feel this, okay? Those are the 10 most important basic skills I consider to be important in order to make yourself stand out as a human being. Next step, once you've, uh, once you've got all the other stuff going on, I call the high performance attributes. Be the best version of yourself. I've divided them into four blocks. Sa, Mu, Ra, and I. Because uh, people often call me the modern samurai. I have a very traditional uh, warrior-like approach to everything. Uh, in the Japanese language, samurai, has four sounds, sa, mu, ra, and i. The sa characteristics are to have passion, focus, and dedication. This is really having that inner fire, knowing what it is you want to do or have or be, okay? Focus, this is actually having that ability to, ooh, you know, dial it in and, and do what's needed in order to, to move in that direction. Dedication, this is not giving up. This is sticking with something over years in order to, to make progress. Mu, we have an excellent consistency and self-awareness, which I consider all to be uh, connected and related to each other. Excellence, this is standing out in your field. It means being good at what it is you want to be good at. You know, Consistency, this is putting in the training all the time, on a regular basis every week, but also over years. Self-awareness. This is being able to realistically assess yourself and where you're at so you know what your level is at relative to the rest of the market. Ra, Ra is informedness, perceptiveness, and reactiveness. This is knowing what's going on. This is being able to read the situation around you and this is being able to go with the flow, react, and do or say the right thing in the right given situation. E is, this is the big one, ambition, leadership, vision. Ambition, this is that drive that makes, makes individuals say, 
I'm going to go for it. I want to make something happen, whatever it is that your, your, your goal is. Leadership. This is the ability to take charge and just do or initiate or make something happen before others do. And vision. This is having that long-term picture, that long-term sense of what it is that you want to happen. All right, next level after that, it gets fun. The Samurai Success Strategies, which is have more, do more, be more. <laughs> the first rule, which has the, the three SA attributes, means to have a serious attitude about what it is you want to achieve. Okay? Um, and then when I, when I present uh, in, in my speaking or programs, I give case studies for each. Case study here would be Mr. Arnold Schwarzenegger, who started lifting weights at age 15 and decided at age 20 he wanted to be a movie star, a millionaire, and the world's greatest bodybuilder. Took him decades, but he made it happen. Mu, mastery and understanding of your craft. Case study here would be Michael Jackson. You know, Once you talk to people who actually knew him and worked with him, they described the most driven perfectionist they've ever seen. Ra, responsiveness and attention to changing trends, okay? Uh, several examples here, the Kodak camera company, they had the technology for this, for digital video and, and, and pictures. They were too slow to react. They wanted to stick with rolls of film because the whole world was using rolls of film. They didn't go digital and the company died. <laughs> Same thing with Blackberry, you know, they, they, they didn't develop smartphones. They thought people love Blackberry. Let's stay, stick with the, the, the old, the, you, you know that. Killed the company. All right, E, initiative, initiative. That's actually getting off your butt and doing something. The ability to take charge before others do. Now I'll introduce one last part of sort of my overall uh, approach, which I call the higher samurai success strategies. There it is. The higher samurai principles. Okay, this is maintaining long-term success. Sa. Mu, Ra, and I, one more time, but in Japanese. First one is called Sayogauma. This is the name of a, 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 a fairy tale, a story that all Japanese people know, which translates as Sayo's horse. I'll read what I have here. In English, it means to expect the unexpected. Unforeseen setbacks will always arise. Remember the tale of Sayo's horse. So as the story goes, once long ago in China, there was a man named Sayo who lived in a village. Uh, his horse ran away one day, which was not good. He was a poor farmer. Then at some point, his horse came back with a companion horse, a wild horse without an owner. That was good fortune. He now had two horses and his son had, could learn to ride a horse. One day the horse threw his son, he fell and broke his leg, you know, bad fortune, he thought, now my son can't work. Then soldiers from the Imperial Army came and took all of the, the able-bodied, fit young men to fight in an upcoming war. All the other boys in the village died and did not come back alive, leaving only his son. So again, good fortune. So the name of the tale, Sayo Gauma, is uh, a reminder that we have to, to expect the unexpected. Second uh, is Mushin. This is known very well to people in the classical Japanese martial arts from karate do, kendo, judo, kyudo, iaido. Um, the, the idea of mushin, I'll read it here, is to clear your mind of internal conflict. Learn to control the state of the empty mind. The empty mind is the free mind. You're not thinking of other things. In modern scientific terms, they call this temporal hypofrontality. Temporal hypofrontality is when the higher functions of the brain, thinking about the future, future planning, analysis, constructing uh, uh, complex ideas, uh, solutions. No, 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 no. Uh, this, this is a minimized animal state of mind, temporal hypofrontality, when you're only focused on the here and now. Nothing else around you matters. You're not really listening. You've got that tunnel vision and you're only hyper-focused on one thing. It's, it's related to a survival uh, mental state, okay? But this mushin we're talking about is that mental state not 
when you're afraid or in fear of your own safety or your life, you're not running, you're not fighting for, for survival, you're doing something you enjoy, okay? You're willingly, you're playing a sport you like, you're, you're snowboarding, you're, 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 you're building models. When you're doing something you like and enjoy and still hyper-focus on it, then you're in the zone. This is called Mushin, and this, if you can actively learn how to activate it, is the state of mind that all high performers actively can enter, and that's when they have their greatest moments. The last, uh, second last one is then Ra, meaning Ran Sho. Ran Sho means start small, be patient, don't give up. Even the greatest river at the source begins as a cup of water. That's what Ran Sho means. It means one cup of water. Now. This, this is a sort of a, a metaphor, which means um, in English, even a, a journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. So it means you have to start small. This is very simple. Last one is, uh, there it is. Isogaba maware. Okay, this is a very well-known Japanese saying. It means uh, uh, directly translated, well, take things slowly, don't rush, think before you act. The direct translation, if you are in a hurry, take the longer route. In English, we, we can translate this as haste makes waste. Okay, uh, so that's just a general overview of uh, my approach, my, my, my Samurai Six Success Strategies. Now, I've actually started uh, collecting this in written form. It may at some point in the future uh, become a book, which I would call Samurai Success Strategies. And uh, we'll see if enough people are interested and keep asking for it. It will not only be my topic of presentation, but also a future published book. So uh, please stay in touch, write comments, and uh, thank you very much for your attention. And cut.